It's crazy. Boy. <laughs> so big. Hey guys, welcome back. The basil I planted this spring are growing crazily now. Look how big these leaves are. <laughs> I really enjoy harvesting them. They are so fresh and smell extremely good. With just a couple basil plants, you will get more than you need. And it's super easy to take care of them. Already got one load. Another one is coming. I will make a video talk about how to plant and take care of basil in an apartment. I really need to use them when they are super fresh. Last year, I made some basil pesto with them. This year, I will make a vegan version of it. How to make super delicious basil pesto with tasty cheesy flavor without using dairy product? Come on, check it out. First, take 2 cups of basil leaves. Slightly packed like this. These are other ingredients. Here I use walnuts instead of pine nuts in traditional basil pesto recipe. Since it's way cheaper and my husband can enjoy it too. Here's my secret ingredient. It's nutritional yeast. This is the key to get cheesy flavor without adding dairy products. I used it to make potato chips before. It tastes really good and it's fat free. Well, it's super easy to make basil pesto. Just put all the ingredients into a blender or a food processor. Add some water. Water makes it easier to blend and it won't be too dry when served with pasta. The color is better too, since it makes the blending process more smooth. Blend it until it's pretty fine. Or if you like a bigger chunk, you can blend shorter. Transfer it into a container and taste it. Check if you need to add anything. Then make some pasta. I like to mix the sauce first, then serve. I'm very happy with the nice green color this time. Let's try it. Personally, I like to add some black pepper while eating. Although my husband think it may cover the basil flavor, so do whatever you want. It tastes just like the pesto made with parmesan cheese. It's so good. The different thing is this one is way less oily, which makes the dish super fresh and light, so that you can taste the ingredients more. The umami flavor from nutritional yeast, walnuts, olive oil, and fresh basil. Mmm, it's so good. For the leftover basil pesto, you can freeze it in an ice cube tray. This way, you can take a couple cubes whenever you want to eat. It freezes very well and it can stay good for a long time. As soon as the basil pesto cubes are hard enough, take them out and transfer them into a zip bag or a container with lid. This way, we won't lose the water inside. Oh, quickly! It melts pretty fast too. See, how nice! You can make many dinners with even this amount. Well, this is today's video. Please hit subscribe and like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.